Hello everyone, in this Java for Testers tutorial, we will learn how you can read the properties that are stored in the properties file of any Java project. So to read any values that are stored in, uh, in the properties file, uh, we have the properties class in the Java library. Along with the property class, we just have to use one more class which is file reader or file input stream. So these are the two classes. You can use either file reader or file input stream to read the properties. So there is a properties class. So if you just go and search for the Java docs for properties class or file input stream or file reader, you will get these Java docs. And you will, if you see the constructor summary of the properties, so you can create an empty property list or create an uh, empty property list with specified default. So these are the constructors and then the methods that are available in this particular properties class. So you can load uh, the input stream or you can load the reader. So you, we can use either the in input stream or the reader class to read the properties that are stored in the properties file. So let's understand how you will create the property file and actually read the data from the property file. So I've already created a project read and write and let me create a package within the src folder so i'll say com.rc say properties in this case and i'll store the properties in this rcv okay now let me create another package and i'll store my class in that so com.rcv and i'll say uh, read data Okay. Now in the properties package, I'll create a new property file. So to create a property file, simply go to new and you will see the option file. And here I'll provide the name. So I'll say test data dot properties. So please make sure the dot properties extension has been mentioned for the properties file that you are creating. And now in the property file, will store the data as the key value pair, right? So because if you see the properties class, it is an extension of the hash table, right? So it is a subclass of hash table and the properties object that you'll create, it will contain the key value pair as strings. So we'll store the data. So say for example, I want to store the name in this particular case and I'll say, name as rcv right and then let me store the detail of the website as well so i'll say rcvacademy.com okay so i have two properties there one with the name key is the name value is rcv and then the key is website and value is the website url so say for example i want to read these properties from this properties file so what i'll do is i'll simply create a new class and then i'll say uh, read data demo and let me include the main method finish it and here now we have to simply start the creation of the code that will read the properties file now in order to read the properties file First, we'll understand how you can use the file reader class to read the properties file. So file reader class, if you see, if we create an object of this particular file reader class, it creates, so it has the constructor which accepts the argument of the file location, right? So here you see file reader and we have to specify the location of the file, okay? So if we simply create an object of this particular class so we'll say file reader fr is equal to new and we'll create an object of this particular file reader class and here we have to pass the location of the file so to get the location simply right click on the properties file go to properties and copy this location all right now just pass that particular location within these brushes right so now you will see that these double slash has been already 
uh, you know appended so in windows you have to make sure if it is not appended uh, you are getting single quotes you make sure that you add the double quotes there because single uh, you know slash or single backslash is the escape character in java so it has to be double backslash so if i let me now what the error is basically if you just hover over it you have to import the file reader class right so import from java.io and then again hover over you just say add throws declaration so either you have to surround it with the try catch or throws declaration so it will say file not found throws declaration right so this is the step one step one is to create an object let me just comment it out so create an object of file reader class right then the second step is to create i'll simply copy it and we'll say create an object of properties class right now we have the properties class as well so i'll say properties p is equal to new properties okay once you create the object of the properties uh, class you will again need to import because properties class is from java.util we'll import that package as well and then the next step is once you have created the properties class object step three is to load the properties file right so when we say p dot load you will see so because this object or this properties class if we go into the details of this property class you will have the method to load the reader or the input stream right so there is a method load which accepts the reference of the reader and in this case the reference of the reader is this you know um, the variable that we have created okay so we'll simply say p dot load and here you will get two methods so these are the method one will uh, one accepts input stream if you have created an object of the input stream it accepts the reference to the input stream uh, the other one accepts the reference to the reader so we'll use the reader because we have created an object of the reader so we'll simply pass that reference fr and this loads this particular file if you hover over simply add the throws declaration and all the errors will be gone so in the step three we will load the file okay these are the three steps and that's it in order to read the properties file now the next step is you just use the method get property to get the property right so if you um, go through the details of this properties class you will have the get, get property and you have to provide the key which is the string all right and that will give me the property so step four is step four is to use get property method to get property all right now what we'll do is we'll simply say let me print out the property so i'll say sys out and i'll say p dot get property and provide the string of the the key as the string so what was the key the key was name and website right so name and website are the keys so i can simply say if i want to access the website i'll simply provide the key as website and that's it right so let me run this and you will see the property rcvacademy.com has been printed on my console right so this is with the file reader class now say for example you want to use the file input stream you don't have to do anything else all the steps remain exactly same the only difference is instead of creating the object of the file reader class what you use is use use file file input input stream right 
and I'll say if a file input stream and you create an object of this class instead of file reader and pass the reference or the location of the file so I will simply copy this location and pass the location as we have done in the file reader class right so we have created an object of the file input stream instead of file reader so I'll comment out file reader and import file input stream save it and in the properties you know dot load you pass the reference of the file input stream okay and if I run this now you will see it still works exactly the same way as we have used the file reader class right so if I want to use or access the property name I change it to name and it will get me fetch me the name uh, the property value that is stored against the name right so you can use either file reader class or file input stream the difference is if you go to the details of these two classes so this convenience class for reading character files so file reader reads the character file if you want to read streams of raw bytes then you need to use file input stream but in our case because this reader or the properties file we just want to read the character files so we can use the file reader as well right now the next step is here if you see we are hard coding this location right so say for example i don't want to hard code this location so what we can do is if we simply use system dot get property uh, of the current user directory we can use that in this location to remove this hard coding so i'll explain the advantage of removing this hard coding in just a moment let me just use or show you how you can use system dot get property to get the current user directory so if i'll use system dot i'll say system dot get property and then i have to provide the string so i'll say user dot dir and what this does is it prints so you'll see this is where we have this particular project right so this is the project location and within that we have these packages and the file so instead of having this location as hard coded if we simply use system dot get property right and we'll use system dot get property and then append so whatever location was there up to read and write is the property or the location current working directory and just append the rest of the path okay with the concatenation operator and if you save it it will ex work exactly the same way but you have removed the actual hard coding so let me comment this out and run again you'll see it still worked exactly the same way but now the advantage is basically if i maximize it now the advantage is in this particular case we are not hard coding the path of the file which is specific so i am storing maybe i am storing this particular project in c drive when i export this project and share it with other person in my team he might be storing it in d or any other drive and the location might not be exactly same but when it comes to the actual uh, project specific details so src com rcv all these package related details will still remain exactly same even if somebody imports this particular project and stores it any at any other location in their particular machine so that's the advantage of using this system.get property user.dir to get the current location of the project and then this will remove the hard coding and helps you to share the project and when somebody else imports this project it doesn't break in their particular machine so this is all about reading the data from the properties file using either the file reader class which is available in java or file input stream class which is available in java as well now the only thing you have to remember is these steps that i have mentioned step one 
and then you use file reader class to create an object of the file reader class and the combination of uh, properties so properties and file reader class or properties and input stream class and then load the file and get the properties that are stored in the properties file so very simple very easy just follow the steps remember the classes that are required to read the properties and you just have to remember two classes file reader properties or file input stream and properties to read the properties in the next tutorial we will understand how you can write the properties to the properties file in any Java project. So that's all for this tutorial. Hope you like it. Please do share and subscribe. And thank you for watching.